OK, here's the final tutorial for handling multiple events. So you can say programs obviously don't just react to one kind of input from the um, user. So you can react to holding down a key or clicking the mouse or doing a different thing with the mouse. So the only rule here in Small Basic is you can't assign two subroutines. Sorry, you can even have one subroutine handling multiple events but it can only handle it once. If you try to assign two subroutines to the same event, the second one wins. I don't know why it's the second one, but it is. So let's have a look at this little program here. Uh, in fact, we'll go and look at it in the, in the window. So here we go. So we're creating a blue brush, and when the mouse goes down, it's going to run the subroutine called on mouse down. Now let's have a look at what that does. That finds the coordinates, offsets it by 10, and draws an ellipsis in there which is 20 by 20. So this is very similar to what we've seen before. But if a key is pressed down then it runs a subroutine called on key down and this subroutine changes the brush color to a random color. So it's the same as the dots before but these ones are going to be different colors. So let's have a look at it in action. Ah sorry it's not random colors when I hold down so I'm holding down a key and now it's changing colours. But once I stop holding down the key, it holds its colour, again changes it when I'm holding down the key. So the key changes colour, clicking on something leaves a dot there. So far so good. Let's jump back to the PDF. So there's their example. And what they're saying is you can actually create something very much like a paint program with just a few simple lines of code. So we're going to create a graphics window and on mouse move is a subroutine that we call when the mouse is moved. So the subroutine say, called on mouse move finds the coordinates where the mouse is and it draws a line from the previous coordinates to the current coordinates. And then previous is X and Y for the, for the purpose of that. So we go and have a look at that. Now the trick with this is because when it first starts running there are no previous coordinates. So it's going to start up in the top left hand corner. So have a look at it. There we go. And when I drag it down so the previous coordinates were up here and it's just following me around. It's going from previous to where I am. So there you go. There's a little drawing program for you. There you go. I can draw some glasses if I feel so inclined. But we can do even better. So let's move on. So let's just move that off to the side and jump back to the PDF. So here we actually have a couple of things that we're looking out for, a couple of events. One is on mouse move and the other is on mouse down when it's being held down. So on mouse down is going to calculate the, pre um, the previous X um, creates that mouse where the mouse is on X and Y and on mouse down is going to actually draw so it's going to go to those spots created by where the mouse is and if the mouse button is actually down then it's going to draw a line from previous X and previous Y to X and Y so let's have a look at that the beauty of this is because when you're just moving it around it doesn't actually start drawing it's creating the, that previous information um, before you move so you'll see what it does so when I'm just moving it around nothing but when I click it down that's when it starts to draw and so I can move it around and it's still collecting the previous information so if I'm moving across the screen like this and then I click it down so this is more like what you would recognize as a drawing program so here's the final one that I've done and this is my my extension of this and I'll obviously look forward to seeing yours. I have decided to make the, no, the line just instead of being one pixel wide I've decided to make that random. So I've said wide, the variable wide is going to be math get random number up to 20. So the number of the line can be 1 to 20 and then I'm saying graphics window pen width equals wide. So whatever number wide gets given in this routine will be how wide the pen is. And it's going to change every time I'm moving around. And I'm throwing in this line of code which you've seen before which is about getting a random colour. And everything else is the same as before. So let's have a look at it. So nice blank screen. 
but as you can see those lines are random widths and random colors as well and because it's getting fresh information every time I move to a new pixel that's why it's creating I think of that almost like Christmas decorations and if I went back and I said well in actual fact I'd like that but more so let's make them even wider and run it again there we go so it's going from 1 to 50 and obviously given that it's random a lot of them are above 25 so that creates quite a different effect so that's what I've done I look forward to seeing what you've done and then you're going on to the rest of the fun examples on your own uh, because I don't think you need me stepping through them bit by bit and you've hopefully been doing a bit of adventuring on your own up to this point so you should be well equipped to move forward